Now to the latest on the toxic levels of heavy metals found in parts of North and Southeast Portland. A neighborhood coalition now mapping out who's been tested for those chemicals, then posting that on an interactive map, hoping it will shed some light on the problem. Our Cole Miller joins us, and I understand you spoke to a woman, Cole, who had her son tested? Oh, Jeff, that's right. And the last couple of weeks, they've really caused a lot of panic and frustration with people living in those affected areas. Now, this latest tool is aimed at plotting out problem spots to give their neighbors an idea of what they're seeing at a more localized level. We're kind of on the outer range, so I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to have him double checked. Teresa Harris has lived at her Selwood home for decades, and even though it's more than a mile away from Bullseye Glass, which just recently stopped using arsenic, cadmium, and chromium, potentially toxic chemicals, she still has a reason to worry. Her 15 year old son is a freshman at Cleveland High, in the heart of what's being called a dangerous air hotspot. So she had him tested. For both nickel and cadmium, it was a spot urine test. And when the results came back, a sigh of relief. So my son came back undetectable. So um, at this point, I'm not terribly worried, but I am concerned for Portland Air. She and others have been posting their results here. It's an interactive map put together by the Eastside Portland Air Coalition. I think they wanted to kind of give this to OHA or something um, to help kind of track where those positive results are coming from to see how how much it's really affecting people health wise. Some of the tests according to that map came back indicating levels of arsenic and cadmium. We're reaching out to those families to learn more about what those test results mean. It's something Harris says she'll continue to keep an eye on as neighbors, local, state and federal leaders now now push for change. There's just some regulations that really need to be enforced, I think. And the Eastside Portland Air Coalition is also beginning to post soil sample results. That's on a separate map. Now, a long term goal with this group is to enact legislation allowing more oversight by public agencies to prevent this kind of pollution. Back to you. Okay, Cole, thank you. And